This is the Dymo 1570 label maker. It was built in the 1960s and 70s. And as the man Scott who sold me it said, it's built like a streetcar. It's an absolute tank. And it makes excellent labels. The only issue is the cutting mechanism doesn't work. It doesn't completely sever the tape. So today I'm going to take this label makeover apart, see how it works, and hopefully get it fully functional again. There's a small plastic piece that covers the cutting handle, and that actually can just be compressed and pulled out. To separate the two halves of the enclosure, all you need to do is remove two screws. Then the internal mechanism is fully exposed. If you're not careful of the big spring, everything might go flying. With the spring removed, you can really easily see how the mechanism functions. How moving the main candle compresses the label disc and impresses a letter onto the tape. The gears then move the tape forward and this can be repeated. Getting everything apart, it looks like the two cutting blades have a ton of old tape built up between them. There's just layers and layers of old label tape that have built up here and have been sandwiched between the two cutting blades. I think that's a big reason why the cutting mechanism is not working. Peeling off 50 or 60 years of label maker tape only took a few seconds, but looking at the two cutting blades, they are a little dull. So I'm going to give them a quick sharpen and then reinstall them. But looking at the plastic piece that encloses the two cutting blades, it does seem to be cracked. There's also a tiny piece of plastic that has fallen off. I can't tell exactly where, so I'm not going to try and glue this piece back on, but I will use a little bit of super glue to repair this cracked piece here. Label Maker is such a unique piece, it's been around for so long, and is purely mechanical. Like a lot of purely mechanical mechanisms, it's both very complex, but also very simple, and it is very elegant in that way. I did watch another teardown of the Dymo 1570. It had an additional large spring uh, on this component here. I don't know if there's different sub-models of the Dymo 1570, but mine only has the one large spring. Putting it back together, I'm just going to assemble everything in the opposite order as I disassembled it. So I'm going to put a little bit of synthetic grease on some of the moving components just to keep things lubricated and hopefully keeping this operating for another 50 or 60 years.
The fix turned out to be super simple, and I'm really happy with how this came back together. Now I can start labeling everything and better organize my workspace. I'm super happy with the label maker, and I hope you enjoy the teardown and reassembly. See you next time.